What is up guys, Mounty here from Mal Does Gaming, back again with another video for you guys. I don't know why my laptop screen is scrolling itself, but that doesn't matter, because today we're going to be flashing Paranoid Android 6.0 uh, on our T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, so before we get started, I need to mention a few things that you will need to have. One, obviously you're going to need to have a Galaxy S2. Now this will only work on the T-Mobile Galaxy S2. If you do not have a Samsung Galaxy T-Mobile S2, stop. Unless you want to watch this video for kicks, if you have a different model of the S2 and you're trying to flash this ROM, please stop. I am not responsible for anything that happens to your Android device because you um, did something wrong. You're going to need to follow each step very precisely. Otherwise, you will mess up your phone. Um, so you're going to need your T-Mobile Galaxy S2, a battery charge to at least 80%, if not higher, uh, and you're going to need a couple of other things. Uh, you're going to need to download the ROM. Uh, you're going to need to download uh, G-Apps, I will provide links to all these in the description. G Apps is, you know, like the Google Apps. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and walk through this for you guys. So, uh, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is download this ROM. Uh, now, I already have the G Apps. On my device so this is it I believe yeah right here so we're gonna go ahead and download this so this is the ROM uh, you're gonna have to flash it in Uh, in recovery. Now you will, you do need Twerp custom recovery. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and download this, but if this is your first time flashing a custom repartition ROM, uh, then there are a few things that you're gonna, that you are gonna need to do first. So back here, you'll see. All right, so this is downloading. So you'll see right here. Uh, from another non virtually partitioned ROM. So what you're going to need to do is root the phone. I will have root instructions in the description below. Click on the link, root the phone, then come back here. So these are the steps you need to take. Make sure you have Torp installed. Do not install uh, Clockwork Mod. That is an option in the root method that I provide. Do not install that. Install Twerp. Um, back up your current ROM if you want. If you have anything important on the phone itself, back that up. So what you want to do in Twerp is go to this right here. You're going to you're gonna wipe the phone, advanced wipe, check. Um, so there will be a little checkbox. Hit internal storage. Then hit repair change file system. Press change file system. Hit that. And then swipe. It will take a little while. And you're going to wipe these three partitions. Data, cache, and system. Then you're going to download this right here this this one right here and then you're going to you're, you're going to copy it over to your device with the USB cable um, then flash it in recovery uh, now after you wipe system you won't be able to boot into your Android's operating system so make sure that this is something you want to do once you've done that or once you've uh, wiped this Basically, you're going to go into mount on Twerp, I believe. You don't have to mount it, I don't think. Just plug the USB cable into your phone, then plug it into the computer. Copy the file into a folder that you can access in recovery. Unplug the phone, flash it, reboot recovery. Um, go to mount, uncheck, and then recheck data. Then copy the ROM on, and that's what we're going to do. So, this... My S2 is already rooted, so I won't be able to show you guys that process. Uh, but once this finishes downloading, of course, I will uh, 
show you guys what we need to do. So, this is, so first what you want to do on the phone, and I will bring it up to the camera in just a second. So again, make sure you've got a good amount of charge. So now what you want to, oh, really sorry about that guys. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've got all the necessary files already on your device. Um, now I'm downloading the ROM because this is my first time doing it. Uh, so I could actually mess up my phone and you guys could see that in the process. But if I do, I'll show you how to fix it. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that I have, uh, alright, so we're going to delete that, um, alright, so the ROM is almost done downloading. Uh, and we need to take care of some stuff on the device itself. So make sure that you've got uh, G apps on here. If you don't, go ahead and download whichever one you want. Uh, you can get it from right here, Open G apps. Uh, you'll need Super SU if you're not rooted already. Um, but I am rooted already. And like I said, root instructions are in the description below. So what you want to do on your phone, let me zoom out here. What you want to do on the phone is you want to go ahead and reboot into recovery. Uh, I have to use this app because I my power button's broken. So go ahead, hit recovery. Uh, reboot into recovery. However, you reboot into recovery. Um, once recovery loads up, you're gonna need to do this right here factory reset the device. So basically what that is is you're going to go into oh can't really see it. All right, so you're going to go into wipe um wipes data cache and cal and dalvik. You don't want to wipe internal storage. Um so this is kind of like a factory reset. Go ahead and swipe. It should wipe everything. And this is it, and this will take a little while. All right, so it's done. So you want to hit back, hit back again. Now is where we gonna now is where we're going to need to connect uh, the phone to the computer. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom back in on this. Let me close out the window that I've currently got open. All right. So, now what you're going to need is a micro USB cable. Uh, it doesn't matter what length. You just need a micro USB cable. Um, if you do have a USB 3.0 port, I would recommend plugging it into that. Uh, otherwise, just plug it into the USB port and then plug it into the phone and we can get started. So we're going to go ahead and plug the USB cable into the computer, plug the other end into the phone. Make sure it is a properly working USB cable, otherwise you are going to have some problems and you could possibly brick your device. So go ahead and open up the file manager. Uh, let me kind of zoom in on that for you guys. Um, not really used to the tripod even though I've recorded a few videos. Uh, so over here on the right hand side, scroll down and you should see uh, the phone. Go ahead and hop into internal storage. Uh, you can just uh, hit download. Alright, so this is all that. I've got some music in here, you guys can judge me if you want. Um, but as you can see, we've got exposed here so we can flash that when we're done. And then uh, if we go back to the internal storage, Scroll down here, you see I've got the open G apps. So now what you want to do is you want to go into your downloads folder. Um, unless you saved the file somewhere else. You want to go in your downloads folder and look for the ROM. Uh, so it should be 
somewhere down here. That's kind of weird. Uh, looking, looking, looking. It's probably somewhere here. I just don't see it. Alright, I can't find it. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to click up here, show in folder. Yeah, see, it's right here. Alright, so it should, it calls the file, you probably can't see that. But it calls the file PA Cellox 6.03. This is the latest version. So what you want to do is you want to right click on it and hit copy. Oh, not paste. Oh god, cancel. Cancel. Not paste. That's not what we want to do. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Right click on the ROM. Hit copy. Then you want to go into your this here and just paste it right here. Go ahead and hit paste. You don't have permission to create the, what the heck? It should just copy over. Okay, what if I go into download and paste it in here? What the heck? Alright, that's a little bit weird. Um, That's a little bit weird, guys. I am not sure why it won't let me copy it over. One second. See, this is a this is the real life problems that you run into. The compressed zip folder is invalid or corrupted. That's not what I want to hear. Alright, I think it's working now. Just ran into a bit of a rough patch. So, basically, uh, this should not take long, especially if you have a USB 3.0 port on your computer. So, it's just going to copy the ROM over to the device. As you can see, it's going pretty quickly. Just make sure you guys can see that well. Did it, did it work? I think it did. Alright, it's right there. So now what you want to do is go ahead and disconnect the cable from your phone. And from now on we'll be working with the phone. So once you've got G apps and everything, oh let me zoom out guys, sorry about that. Once you got G apps and all that good stuff up there, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit install. Uh, and you see there's the ROM right there. Go ahead and tap on that. Uh, then you want to hit add more zips. Go to uh, go up a level. Then you want to go down here and you'll see Open G Apps right there. The Open G Apps zip. Add that and then swipe to flash. So it's going to flash the ROM. And make sure, and remember, if you don't virtually repartition the device, uh, like I showed you, this will not work. It will fail, and you could possibly brick your device. I actually did that once. So it's just backing up the installed apps. It's almost done, even though the bar is full. It's not quite done yet. So I will come back when this is done guys um, and we can and then we can uh, and then I'll show you how to install the G apps Ooh. alrighty guys so it is booting up this is the paranoid Android boot animation um, I thought I had bricked my phone and I'll put the battery cover back on and tell you why in just a second so basically, what's going on is, uh, which I didn't know about Paranoid Android, is what the installer does is, 
Um, if you have any, like, apps already installed on the phone, it tries to back them up. Um, now this is probably going to take a little while to boot up. Uh, and that is how you, f that's how you flash the ROM, guys. Uh, so, I will come back and show you how to install gapps in a separate video. And I'll, uh, I'll show you the setup of the ROM and I'll show you how... Uh, to flash G apps. So I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and peace out.